And the celebration of Christmas uh, should be understood uh, in the general framework of the Roman Empire and in particular uh, with the Eastern uh, cultures and religions. Uh, such cultures and religions were uh, common in Rome uh, 2000 years ago and in particular they were also intertwined with uh, Near Eastern uh, creeds and religions. Among them the Jewish uh, uh, sacred books already in, uh, in the ancient, uh, most ancient books of the Pentateuch, the Torah, uh, were full of uh, promises and uh, um, some, some speculations about uh, the, uh, the birth of uh, a new era uh, according to the most ancient Jewish prophets uh, like Isaiah, Jeremiah and uh, Ezekiel and many other prophets. Uh, in particular the prophecy of the pagan Balaam uh, was announced uh, a star from Jacob uh, and uh, from uh, Israel uh, as a light uh, for all the peoples. Combined uh, with that uh, uh, Eastern uh, Asian, uh, Near Asian or Middle Asian uh, cultures and religions uh, were also the idea uh, as it was reflected uh, in the eclogue uh, of uh, Virgil about the birthday of a, uh, a new king bringing peace uh, in all the world. That idea was of course combined with the ideology of the Pax Romana, the Roman peace in the Roman Empire. That was a cultural and religious context in which also the Christian faith spread very quickly in the Mediterranean area 2000 years ago. Originally the birthday of Jesus was more connected with the family members of the family of Jesus, Joseph and Mary and the other members of the family. Though for some decades or even centuries Christmas was just a family feast in the uh, Palestinian or uh, in the Eretz Israel uh, Jewish Christian uh, milieu. Uh, later, when Constantine uh, gave more freedom to the Christians and uh, the mother of Constantine, the Queen Elena, came to Jerusalem and Bethlehem, providing uh, uh, funds uh, for building uh, the uh, many churches, including the church of uh, Bethlehem on the Grotto of the Nativity, then uh, the beginning of the 4th century started the celebration of Christmas uh, in a very solemn uh, celebration in that church of the Nativity, which still exists, exists in Bethlehem until uh, our days, until today we can uh, visit uh, that church. So the beginning of the uh, high level uh, uh, celebrations and liturgies on Christmas uh, is combined with uh, from one side the political action of uh, uh, Constantine and from the religious and theological side also to the fundamental uh, ecumenical council of Nicaea. In Nicaea, it was established the creed of uh, uh, Mary as uh, Theotokos, as the uh, mother of Jesus, as God. And the fundamental uh, starting point was established for Christmas feast. Mm, we know that uh, very important celebrations of Christmas took place uh, after 300 uh, 31 in Constantinople, when Constantinople Byzantius was founded by Constantinus, by the Emperor Constantine, who became the Emperor of the Reunited 
the entire from eastern to western section regions. And that uh, uh, later the Christmas uh, developed uh, in many other forms, in particular um, 1000 years later, with uh, the, uh, the particular uh, tradition opened by Saint Francis of Assisi. It was Saint Francis of Assisi who uh, developed the piety and the uh, very popular tradition to, uh, to venerate the grotto in a new atmosphere, in a new sensitivity according to medieval European uh, point of view. And that was until uh, the, well, during the Renaissance time and uh, later, many artists uh, developed uh, some music or uh, exhibit uh, or uh, paintings uh, having the uh, birth uh, of Jesus, uh, the Christmas mystery, at the center. The uh, Italian Renaissance art, of course, had a big influence in bringing that idea of Christmas over the world due to the importance of Renaissance art in the world art history. Only in the 200 years ago, when the technology and the scientific development brought light, electricity and many other technological news elements in our civilization, then Christmas became a, a very luxurious uh, uh, celebration that is common now from Beijing to New York, from South Africa to north of Europe. But that was only the latest uh, development in 2000 years of history of Christmas. The core of the mystery still remains uh, untouched and not uh, uh, not uh, influenced by those uh, evolution. Any, kind, any civilizations during 2000 years uh, bring some contribution to the celebration, but uh, the core of the celebration still remains the same. It's the birthday of Jesus, uh, which is uh, uh, adored and venerated and uh, affirmed as a savior of uh, bringing the announcement of peace to all the world, uh, that was the basic uh, uh, hope of all the human beings to, uh, to have a, a life in peace and uh, in, in peace with uh, among all the people in, inside the human conscience and with uh, the angels and the saints and God. 